Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the inverse of this given 3 by 3 matrix by using elementary row operation method. As you can see over here, our A matrix is 3 by 3, 3 rows and 3 columns, and the inverse matrix is represented by A power negative 1. And here is our 3 by 3 identity matrix represented by uppercase I. As you can see in this identity matrix, the main diagonal has all 1s and the rest of the entries are 0. So before we get started with our elementary row operation, the very first thing I have just set up this augmented matrix on the left hand side, as you can see, this is our A matrix and on the right hand side, we have the matrix called identity I. So here I have put down on the left hand side of this matrix, our A matrix, as I have shown you, and the right hand side matrix I identity matrix. Now we are going to perform these elementary row operations so that our this A matrix is going to become an I. So our job is going to be making sure that this A matrix becomes an identity matrix. We can transform it this thing then automatically this other matrix is going to become A inverse or A power negative 1. Now in our very first step we are going to make this negative 1 as 0. Wherever I put a circle that means I want to create, I want to make that entry a 0. How we can make it a 0? By just putting the row 2 plus row 3. We are just adding row 2 and row 3 and putting back to row 2. So that means this is simply is going to become 1. because it's, First row is not going to change, isn't it? So I'm going to just write as it is. 1, negative 2, 0. And on this side, 1, 0, 0 and the second row is going to become simply once we perform that elementary row operation that's going to become 2 1 0 we have to be very careful and this is going to become 0 1 1 and at the same time the third row is not going to change just leave it as it is negative 1 0 1 and then this is going to become 0, 0, 1. Now in the next step, we are going to make this negative 2 as 0. So this is the operation I'm going to perform. I'm going to say row 1 plus 2 times row 2 and just put it back to row 1. So that is going to give us simply, if you simplify that thing, 5, 0, 0. As you can see, and on the right hand side is simply become 1, 2, 2. The rest is going to stay same because we are only dealing with the first row. So this is 0, 1, 1, and then negative 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And now as you can see in the very first row we can make this 5 over here. I want to make it 1. So the only way I can make it 1 by just multiplying by 1 fifth. So I'm going to write down 1 fifth of this row R1. So that is going to become simply 1, 0, 0. I'm just dividing this row 1 by, by 5. So this is going to become 1 fifth, 2 fifth, and 2 fifth as well. The rest is going to stay same. 2, 1, 0, 0, 1, 
1, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And now we want to make these entries 2 and negative 1, 0. So the only way we can make it zero if we can perform these operations. The first one is going to be row two minus two times row one and put it back to row two. And likewise, I am going to put row three plus row one and put it in row three. This is the operation we're going to do this one. So this is simply, once we do this one, that's going to become 1, 0, 0. That is the first row is stay same. So this second row, once we do this thing, that's going to become 0, 1, 0. And the third row is going to become 0, 0, 1. Let's perform the same operation on the right hand side as well. The first row is going to stay same 1 over 5, 2 over 5, and then 2 over 5. And the second row is simply is going to become, you have to be very careful because we are dealing with these fractions. So this is once we perform this operation, that's going to become negative 2 over 5. 1 over 5 and 1 over 5 as well and finally this one is going to become 1 fifth this is become 2 over 5 2 fifth and that's going to become 7 over 5. So thus our uh, left hand side this matrix has to been transformed into an identity matrix as you can see if this become identity then the right hand side matrix is a inverse a power negative one so thus here is our inverse matrix i have just wrote down and that is our answer and here is your assignment can you do this problem on your own you can take your time you can pause the video Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.